What's going on, guys? Um, I did something kind of cool, kind of not. I don't know yet. Um, I commented on Pain Blade's newest video that he just released. Literally, as of time me recording this video, his video has only been up what two minutes. And I posted a, a great big long thing. I, I responded to his question, which is why don't people um, play Street Fighter Duel that much anymore? Why why don't content creators um, uh, why don't content creators uh, make more content about the game anymore? And you're about to see why. Okay, so click stop get the little annoying little red joystick okay does its thing checks files here we go now in my comment I mentioned that that there are some things that just are not adding up and one of those things is the value of some of the pull items now let me explain if you click on the little shop icon down here this is your shop your general store Things like the strengthening stones, okay? How does 20 stones equate to 1,560 gems? Now keep that number in your head, okay? How does 250 motorcycle gems, a 10% discount, I might add, be the somewhere near par equivalent of 360 gems for 400? So the math doesn't add up there. The numbers aren't adding up there. So let's take into account, okay, to buy three of these gems, okay, they, these these red cards. So I'm going to buy one for 800, then another for 1,000, and then another one. So that's 3,000. So basically all three all, all three cards, three, it's three cards for 3,000 gems, okay? So I've got three attempts to try and pull an evil Ryu or an Akuma, okay? So let's go to draw. Okay, now don't even get me started on this divination section. Okay, as you can see, I've been trying to get Sagat. Okay, now bear in mind, I had 55 divination tokens. 55. So I did 5 main 10 times pull. At a 2% chance times 2. So technically it's 4%. Now, bear in mind, take a look at all the value of this. Yeah? So, let's get back to the point I'm trying to make, which is the special summons. Now, I've got three cards, okay? Now, obviously, if I had ten cards, I would use all ten. But for this video, I'm just going to use the three, okay? So, summon number one. This animation's too long. It does not need to be this long, okay? No, didn't get anything. Okay, now, I got... Two six hour break stones. Okay. So two six hour break stones. A hundred of these that bullshit level up things that you get five hundred of every time you go up a floor in one of the other areas. And four. Of these. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I think I should stop the video here, and then that way Capcom and Crunchyroll and whoever it is that, that are developing that this game can sit there and realize as a Captain Picard mean their fucking heads. Okay, there is no pity system in this game. Every other gotcha game, every other gotcha game that I have ever played or do play have a pity system so that free to play players don't feel like they're being bent over a table and trigger warning here ass raped by Capcom or Crunchyroll or whoever the fuck it is look see 2% 2% 
Now, I'm sorry, but... Does it make any fucking sense? These pools do not equate to the cost of 800 gems. None of these do. Nope. So, no, 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 no. Two? Two? Breakstone? Just, just two of the silver fucking things? Two of them? An 8% chance to get two. Not 20. Two. Put the crack pipe down. 6% chance to get one gold. Are you starting to see where you have fucked up, Capcom? It's right here. It's right here. The rewards to pull is right there. That's the problem. That is your problem. And the fact that your draw system as a whole is fictitious. Let, 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 let me be abundantly clear here. Okay, click on the draw. Okay, we'll click on regular draws. Okay, now. What do you see here? See that Sagat's been added. Woo. See that Sagat's been added. Woo. Your chance of pulling Sagat is nil. Stop doing that. Your chance of pulling Sagat is nil. Okay, look, here we go. I'll pull ten of these. Okay, bear in mind, these toke, these coins, okay, are, according to Capcom, even rarer. Okay. And all I got was fodder. Fodder. Notice how... If I do this, then I just do that. I get my 50 gems and you don't get advertisement. So I got nothing. Now bear in mind, notice that the junk throwaway C-class fighters are not even listed in the potential pulls here. Which means you should not be pulling them. The fact that you are is false. Advertising. This is the equivalent of seeing a Magic the Gathering ad on eBay where the dude's got a picture of the Power 9 for sale. And you've got like a, I don't know, if the guy says, oh, you've got a 50% chance of getting one of the Power 9s. And you go, okay, cool. And you pay 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 bucks. And all you get is fucking land cards. It's a bait and switch. End of. Period. Bar none. Bait. Switch. Because they're not listed here. Oh, look. You've even limited the amount that you can get here. They're not listed. Are they? Let's see. What fighter am I not going to get? See? Don't care. Cody's just a joke. Okay? 3K. Okay, and this is another thing. 3K for a limited pull. Which, by the way, you still get the junk sea fighters in here. Again, are they listed? Do you see them? No. And what's another thing you don't see? You don't see any infernal... And you don't see any master. Wow. Why is that? Hmm? Why is that? Why is there no master infer or inferno that you can get from the choice recruit? Why can't I just click on this? And, 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 and go through and then just... Pick an Inferno I want. Or pick a Master that I want. That I've already unlocked, obviously. And, and, and... Uh, don't even get me started. Okay? On the fact that I've actually pulled... Okay, I pulled again. Okay? 
who you don't see listed. Do you see Gen here? Is Gen here? Gen, 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 Gen. No, I don't see. Uh, there he is. I pulled a Gen from the Friends one. See? Again, do, it, it doesn't list your chances of pulling. Well, okay, whatever. Okay, see? Chance of getting an A grade fighter is 4 point something percent. Okay. Chance of getting a B grade is 43. But look at the chance of getting a C grade. Look. Look. Look at that shit. A chance of getting all of these junk fucking nobodies that are useless to everyone because you can't really use them because they have no fucking skills. The only reason why they're here is it was clear that they were first added as placeholders. And yet some idiot has forgotten to remove them when you add new fighters in because it's just easier to leave these motherfuckers in and force hand fuck someone in the ass to the point where you can literally use your own fingers to move a person's lips you have fisted them in the ass that bad it makes no fucking sense your entire draw system here we go you got a four percent chance here again is it it's the exact same percentage chances okay 43 percent chance and a 51 percent chance to get these green sea shit on each fucking pull which means guaranteed on a bad pull and, I, and what i would consider a bad pull or a bad 10 pull is where you literally pull seven to eight green and i've sent capcom screenshots on my di on my twitter saying please answer this shit because mathematically that's not fucking possible once you reach a specific amount the numbers change so you're purposely rigging the pulls so this is a scam your entire draw system is a scam and you can't even fucking deal with the goddamn spam bots see you still can't get past the fucking spam bots I just want the ability to just turn off the chat. I do. I just want to turn off the chat. I do. I just want to turn it off. I don't want to talk to no one. I don't care. I have my own clan. And I talk to my own clan mates because we're fucking cool. But I, I do not want to talk to anyone else. The rest of you all smell like feet. Now, this is the other pisser that's, getting, that's really grinding my gears. Who in their right mind seems to think that Guile, okay, a C-list rating, C-list rated fighter in the World Capcom tournaments, okay, should be a triple S rated fighter, and yet Ken uh, uh, can't go to triple S. Dan can't go to triple S. Sakura can't go to triple s your fucking icon and hero ryu cannot go to triple s why and You've mixed and matched fighters from several different genres of Street Fighter, okay? You've got fucking Ying and Yang and 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 Dudley from Street Fighter 3 and Ibuki from Street Fighter 3, yet you've still got Gen from Street Fighter Alpha. You've got Again, Elena Street Fighter 3, uh 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 uh, uh, uh Jury from Street Fighter 4. Rulento from Alpha. Again, he can't go above six. What are you... Th just, just, just get rid of the junkie C-class fighters. 
okay, make all the actual real existing Street Fighter fighters have the ability to go to Triple S, okay, and add a pity system. That's all you gotta do. Get rid of those shitty fucking bullshit C green class fighters. Just get rid of them. They they shouldn't fucking be in the game. Okay? I mean it. Get rid of the fuckers. Just get rid of them. Okay? Mayor Cody. Whatever. Okay? But get rid of of these mongoloids. Just get rid of them. There's no reason to have them in the game. None. Clearly this guy's the piss taker Yamzaki. I'm surprised SNK haven't had words with you. This guy's clearly the piss take from the boss from the first level of Final Fight. You, you've added Seth as a C-class fighter. That's a fucking insult to Street Fighter 4. That's the biggest insult in the universe. The fact that... And, and, and here's the another big, big fucking pisser, okay? Ken, who can't go above S, which means he will never have a fighting spirit, gets his own fucking EX move! And it only applies to Ken? It doesn't apply to Gormangler Ken? No, because Gormangler Ken has his own. But yet, guess what? Doesn't apply to Ken. Yet Chung Lee's applies to all the Chung Lee's. Consistency! Is it that fucking hard to ask for? You guys were about as consistent as... as, as Going to a fucking Home Depot and getting the same Guatemalian that you got yesterday. You guys literally make no fucking sense. This game makes no fucking sense. None. This is what I'm trying to explain to you people, okay? You keep adding all these infernal masters with no way of getting them, without divination. And, and, and you know what? Let, let's let's let's. I'm not doing your draft mode. Your draft mode, shit. Let's let, let let's take a look. How much would it cost me? <clears throat> How much would it cost me? Yeah. To buy enough tokens. Okay, to buy to buy enough tokens, if I can. Where are they? Uh, perks, more, more. There you go, more. Okay. Let's see. Gift pack, gift pack. Those your bullshit fucking stones. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Subscription, yeah, more, more, let's, you know, more subscription, more subscri here we go, okay, so, how the fuck is that worth 30 bucks, it's not, it's not worth it, I don't even own this Chung Lee, and I don't want to, do I, I, I don't even want to own this Summer Yang, I, I don't, Dante, pointless, why, He's locked. Can't get him anymore. The Vega pack. Again, I like Vega. Just that that's it. That's where it ends. But I like Vega. Here you go. Fighting more. Here's another piss take. You want me to pay a hundred bucks for an E-Honda. You want me to pay a hundred bucks for a fucking E Honda, yeah? And useless fucking shit. No. You want me to pay fifty bucks 
for a yang. No. Let's 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 throw in some divination tokens, and of course, more useless shit. Yeah. Cool. And you want to want me to pay a hundred bucks for that? No. Saga. Okay. So let's say I want to just buy him myself a saga. Okay. A hundred bucks. For a basic saga and four chances of putting him again. At two percent per chance per pull. No. <laughs> you are so fucking just just no. No. You got about as much chance of finding snow in the Sahara Desert. No. Now, case in point. Not only have I just shown you that your pool system's horseshit, why the fuck? Do I need to get this fighter to triple S, okay, before you will allow me to try and pull him again? Why would I? Once I've got him to triple S, there's nothing else less left to do. So it's pointless in pulling him then, isn't it? Du, du, du. Fucking dumb asses. And even then, let's take a look. 2% chance. There you go. A point zero one percent chance to get the fucking 30k gems. But take a look at your chances of getting all this other stupid shit. Through the fucking roof. There you go. Break stones, EXP and cash. That's the only thing you're going to get. How the fuck you seem to think that that any of this that any of this is is worth the cost of the divination? You're 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 up in the fucking night. You're up in the fucking night. Okay, I got five balls. Okay, let's go. Five balls. Bear in mind, I've already gone through fifty. I got one. Wait a minute. Didn't that thing say I'd get 15? But I got one. Is that a lie? Oh, look. One again. Not 15. <gasps> one again. Not 15. <gasps> oh. 55 divination tickets. Gone. Okay, let's take a look again at that. So, if I've got a 1.93% chance of getting all of this shit, yeah, which makes no fucking sense. Thank you for laughing at me, M. Bison. Are you starting to understand why no one... Trust me, your game is going to fall on its face in the next month, month and a half. I'm not even joking. Take a look at your player... Play, take a look at your player listings and you just watch how many, how many players are about to tell you to go take a fucking long walk off a short pier. There you go. Useless. Stuff that's useless to me. There you go. Stuff that's useless to me. Oh look, I got the one right there. Just by waiting.
I legit just got that one that I would have put that I did pull for the 800 gems just by waiting. Technically, it was a thousand gems because three cards are three thousand gems because the first one's 800, the next one's 1200. You get what I'm saying. You might as well just say thousand gems a pop. Instead of that, making it look like they're getting cheaper and cheaper each time. Because they're not. Your maths doesn't add up. Your draw system is rigged. There are reasons as to why players are not playing your game anymore and they're going over to other games. Case in point. I've now been playing uh, King of the Fighters uh, All Stars for, gosh, be three weeks. So, is that the fifteenth? Yeah, it's three weeks today. I've been playing King of the Fighters All Stars, and I'm further along in that game than I am here, and I haven't spent a penny in that game, not a single dime. I am a huge Capcom fan. But this has left a sour taste in my mouth. Capcom, Country Roll, and whoever the fuck it is that, that, that does this. All three of you need to sit down in a, in a room. Capcom, you need to say what the fuck. Because this is literally making sure that nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to touch a single mobile game with your name attached to it ever again. Crunchyroll, you need to do better as well. You do. Because this is an absolute fucking piss take. So... Long story short, I did this video to prove the comment that I made on Payne's video. Again, Payne, love your content. You are amazing. I've used your guides to help me get through the inverse world. And I'm not even joking. Here, I'll go to the global, go to the inverse world. See? I I was so brave enough, I even gave the first try, trial again and maxed it out using your guides. You are amazing, dude. Some fell off my desk. Your guides are amazing. You are a good content creator. And I will watch your content. I don't care if it's about Street Fighter or if it's about Final Fantasy or whatever, dude. I watch your content because you are a good content creator. You and Hazark. I love Hazark's content. And I, I don't blame Hazark for saying, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't blame him. Hazark's a good content creator. You are a good content creator. It's a shame that Capcom can't seem to pull their fucking head out their ass and actually listen yeah you can throw out a fucking questionnaire one to five how do you feel about this that's a computer generated algorithm shit that can easily be manipulated okay I genuinely mean pull some content creators in a call and ask them what's wrong and how would you fix the problem keyword how would you how would i fix your problem case in point all the prices that you see in the game right now half them so if you have something in the game that's 100 bucks half it to 50. You got something in the game and it's in that's in the game for fifty bucks, half at twenty-five. Now you're probably thinking, well that's just gonna fucking cut our profits in half. Actually, no, it's not. It's gonna double your profits. And I mean that. As a person that does technically live a lot of from paycheck to paycheck, you know, I'm telling you, right here, right now, you would make more money. Be more generous with the pools. See that 2%? Up it to 20. 
not even joking, that 2% up it to 20 or 10% at least, so that players who do stock up their uh, um, divin divination tickets and, and their special summon tickets and, and whatnot, who do hoard them, it'll give them a reason to spend them on fighters that they want. And like I said, I have M. Bison because like I said, M. Bison's my favorite. And everyone's like, M. Bison, yeah. And I don't just mean here in Street Fighter Duel, I mean just in general. I main M. Bison in Street Fighter. Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, um, Street Fighter, Street, uh, let's see, it was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, I had M. Bison and uh, Darkstalker. No. Blackheart, sorry. M. Bison and Blackheart. Or M. Bison and Omega Red. In, in, um, uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom series that he was in. So that was um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel Superheroes uh, 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 Marvel vs. Capcom the, 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 the first one. Not Marvel vs. Capcom 2 because he wasn't in that. But do you see what I'm saying? Street Fighter Alpha even. Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3. Street Fighter EX plus Alpha 1 and 2. And Bison was my dude. He was, he was my go-to. People used to hate me playing as M. Bison. Uh, oh! Uh, 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 Capcom versus SNK. My, my go-tos were M. Bison and Geese Howard. Yeah? Again, why? I love Geese Howard. He's my main over in uh, King of the Fighters uh, 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 All-Stars. I have him unlocked, maxed out already. And they're not just talking like one or two stars. I mean, he is five stars maxed out. And I've only been playing that game for three weeks. Big difference between your two games. And the HWA event. As much as it is fun messing around. It's annoying. Plain and simple. You need to re... To, to, to fix the game problem that will probably get me to, to come back and play the game and spend money. Half the price on literally everything. And I mean that. Half it. Get rid of the bullshit. You've got an hour to take a look at this bundle shit that pops up on the side. Get rid of that crap because that is quite literally feeding into someone's gambling addiction. You are literally feeding into someone if they have a gambling addiction. Two, have chat admins ban those fucking bots. If someone spams the same message more than three times, ban them. It's not hard. They get if a person gets reported above X amount of times, ban them. It's not hard. Or better yet, they have to not only. Uh, uh, be above a certain level or, or accomplish a certain event to have the ability to even fucking talk in global chat. That solves the bot problem. Um, up the up the chance of getting fighters. Get rid of the C class fighters because that that's just fucking pull fodder. Get rid of the C class fighters, or better yet, take all the 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 uh, uh, A class fighters. Uh, sorry. Um, your ranking system is just fucking stupid. Get rid of all the C-Class fighters. Or make the C-Class fighters fodder to level up. That You then take your S-Tier fighters and you could make them A-Tier fighters. End of. Just A-Tier and that's it. And then triple S. That's it. I want a triple S fucking Ken. I want a triple S fucking Ryu. Why? So they can go along with my mad Ryu, my evil Ryu. So I can have a fucking entire Ryu team if I wanted to. Where's Golken? You've got him in the game. You've got you've got all the animations for him in the game. Add fucking Golken into the game. Why why are you stringing this shit out? 
do one great big massive release. We're in the middle of summer. We all know you've got fashion Ryu, fashion Ken, fashion this, fashion that, fashion fucking suit wearing E Honda and all this other shit waiting and ready to go. Release it as like a DLC expansion, a one time purchase. For 50 bucks, you unlock all these characters. You unlock three characters, they're legendary, and that's it. You get three legendary characters for, for 50 bucks, okay? And, and, that's it. Done and done. Or, or, or when you release a legendary character, you know, you get the base, you get legendary character for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, just 10 bucks. That's it. And you're probably thinking, why are 10 and not, not, not 50 or 100? Because more people would buy that legendary character at 10 bucks. Think about it, okay? If you're starving, okay, and you're catching fish, but these fish to you are too tiny and not going to fill you up, and you throw that fish away in hopes you're going to catch that one big fish, you're going to die of starvation before you realize it. You're better off catching the little fish and eating the little fish. Trust me on this. Remember, pennies make pounds and pounds make, make money. You are literally fucking over a good 70 to 80% of your paying customer base. In hopes that your one or two percenters, big whales, makus, sharks, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Just say, shut up and take my money. Well, you know what? While you, you're sucking on that one little nipple, that one teat. By the time you've had your fill, you stand up, turn around and realize barren desert. Where's, where's everyone gone? We went elsewhere. We went to green, green, greener pastures. We went somewhere where there's a game that's going to appreciate our time and our value. Because that's the one thing, you motherfuckers, you seem to forget. Is you are literally asking for our time. A resource that we do not get back. Ever. You want us to... Have your game on our phones or on our computers or on our tablets or whatever. Spending money. Do you not understand that there's actually damn near a worldwide recession going on? And there you are. Trying to turn that stone to get blood out of it. You're never going to learn Capcom. And it fucking shows. Anyway, pain. Respect to you, my friend. This has been a long, long video. So I'm ending it here. Deuces.